Michigan has flipped former Notre Dame commit Amarion Walker, wide receiver uh, out of Louisiana. He is now signed with the Michigan Wolverines. This was kind of trending in this direction for a while. You know, there were points where maybe, oh, maybe it's not going to happen. Nope, he does sign with Michigan. Uh, EJ, you've been all over this from the beginning. You've gone down to see him in Louisiana. Uh, how did this thing go down? Ron Bellamy, obviously, with some ties there and leading the way. Yeah, uh, then that was who really uh, led the way for Michigan and, and was the big reason why Marion Walker flipped from Notre Dame. Uh, Ron Bellamy, a Louisiana native, played for Walker's high school head coach, so the uh, connections ran deep. But, yeah, I mean, Walker committed to Notre Dame in the spring. Uh, Michigan made an aggressive push. In the summer, they were able to get him on campus for the game against Washington. Ever since that game, we've always said, you know, Michigan's in a strong position to flip him. And we said it over and over again. And even though it took a, a, a long time for it to actually get done, uh, Ron Bellamy was able to close. He made an in-home visit, I believe, on Thursday and uh, sealed the deal there and, and got a flip in Walker, who uh, adds to a wide receiver class, but also has position flexibility uh, to play defensive back. And then, you know, just from an overall recruitment perspective, I think it's it's good to see Michigan get a flip from from a rival uh, in Notre Dame. So Michigan playing like a champion on the recruiting trail. Yeah, and it doesn't pain you for to see Michigan flip a guy from Notre Dame, I don't think, EJ. Uh, Tim, what's Michigan getting with this flip? Uh, how significant is this? Yeah, uh, Walk, Walker's a player that can kind of play both ways. He's a big receiver. He would be a big corner. Um but I need to move. I, I I like I really like the way he kind of moves. He really covers ground well. Um, strong strong hands. Um, he just had a big performance in the uh, state championship. His team came out and, and uh, you know they they uh, they fell short of of the state championship. But he I think play, finished his player of the game. Just I think he had over 150 receiving yards. Um, is a big body receiver and like I think he's he's a very he's got a very slight frame right now. Um, and and but he's got a frame that has space to hold a good amount of good amount more weight. Um, and so um, it's going to be interesting to kind of see how he continues to fill out and develop here in Michigan, um, you know, whether it's on the offensive or defensive side of the ball. And I think that's something that uh, may not really get, uh, um, you know, settled until a couple, maybe even a couple, a year or two in, in the system of uh, where his true home is. Is it wide receiver? Is it corner? Is it safety? Whatever that is. Yeah, we've said it about a few guys in this class already, but, it, you know, kind of a guy that you just want on your roster. Uh, you figure it out from there. But a big land for Michigan doesn't hurt that you take one away from a rival in Notre Dame. Even though you don't play him for another decade, uh, still that rivalry existing, especially on the recruiting trail uh, with Notre Dame with the uh, coaching staff change and all of that. Uh, so a big win for the Wolverines on the trail. Uh, one of many in this cycle. Head to thewolverine.com for full signing day coverage. We got more on Amorian Walker as well over there from these guys. So uh, head over there right now. One dollar for an entire year. Uh, it'll take you through signing day next year, so go and do that.